You may have noticed during opening statements in Derek Chauvin's trial, the prosecution claimed when George Floyd stopped breathing, he went into what's called an anoxic seizure. What is that and why it could be a critical part of the trial? Investigator Jenny DiPrizio breaks it down. After George Floyd was pulled out of the squad car and put on the ground, his movements may have looked like Floyd was resisting arrest, but prosecutors say it may have been something else. You're going to learn those sporadic movements matter greatly in this case because what they reflect. He called it an anoxic seizure. What is that and why does it happen? Anoxic is the lack of oxygen. So when you say an anoxic seizure, it's a, a seizure that happens because of lack of oxygen. Oxygen. Dr. Abdullah El Shama, an epilepsy specialist at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center, describes what can happen during an anoxic seizure. The entire body stiffens up, eyes usually open, roll back in the head, mouth foaming, uh, grinding the tongue, and then uh, uh, sometimes people can have this uh, loud exhalation of air that sounds like moaning. Uh, and then people will have kind of rhythmic twitching movements that is seen in their arms and legs. Medical experts say there are a variety of reasons anoxic seizures occur in young children and adults. So most of the time in adults, we see these anoxic seizures in a person who's been resuscitated from the brink of death. Dr. Dane Chetkovich, chair of the neurology department at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. One possible cause, he says, when an artery is blocked, be it from a health condition or something else. It's likely that, that, that there wasn't enough blood getting to the brain. In George Floyd's case, Chetkovich says... We, we know that someone was kneeling on his neck. The prosecution says medical experts will testify why they believe Floyd had an anoxic seizure, and they plan to show jurors the exact moment it happened. For The Evidence Room, I'm Jenny DiPrizio.